There's a so, lot. There's a lot to get through. So Bernie's bike was interesting. Wasn't Bernie's it? bike was interesting. Um, it was interesting that also it doesn't look like it's going to be anytime soon. It's from what I was watching something, and they said, yeah. you know, don't expect it. It was purely it's still, it's still, it's still a work in progress. I wasn't sure what that meant. Whether that meant that it was like <clears throat> they were just testing geometry and like shape and stuff using the lugs and the carbon, mm. or whether it was. When you're saying, sorry, when you're saying lugs and carbon, yeah, because I I heard that on the broadcast. What is, is it like an Atherton bike almost? Is that what you mean? Yeah, yeah, effectively. So Does I it look like that? Yeah. So I think they 3D print the lugs. Yeah. Obviously, that's a cheap way or a cheaper way of manufacturing stuff, and mm. then they um they basically bond the tubes in. Wow. So this is. So a, I think that's, that's for prototyping liter- oh, stuff. Prototyping. It's it makes it very quick to change angles, frames, lengths, reaches, all that kind of stuff. Right. Whereas you think every ca- when you get to a production carbon frame, yeah, you've got to outlay X amount all that on mold, a mold, everything. Yeah, yeah. and they don't want to mold like a mold every time. It just makes it wow. unachievable. So I did guess. did the Atherton, uh, what would you call it, brand whatever, start that yeah. robot? Wasn't it? Think? Was it robot? Oh, Robot did... Oh, you're right, actually. Yeah, Robot did do one, didn't they? Yeah, you're right. Ro- 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 I, I remember seeing those... bought f- Robot, Yeah, they? that's right. I remember seeing them at Fort William. Yeah. At, uh, y- yeah, 20... 2016? <laughs> what I couldn't 17? work out was whether wh- whether they were saying it's not going to come out in its current shape, which is like... Yeah, yeah. whether, th- whether well, that's yeah. the finalised bike and it's just going to be mm. a carbon mould version of that. Yeah, because I guess what's interesting about th- that bike is that there's two chains it's high pivot two chains and it's was it was the old bike a um mixer was the old bike a mullet no, i think no, it's full 29 so. it was full 29 yeah. wasn't it yeah yeah but it's, it, a lot of bikes have gone mullet now haven't they is it, it seems to be the way a lot, a lot of the downhillers are yeah it seems really that way. is it normal to do that sort of thing first round brand new series you've got bernard on a heater from 2022 all eyes on him and then they've just gone new bike seemingly not much testing since they're in a box with our man Doug just a week or so before. It seems like a bit of a gamble. I don't know. There must be more to it than that. Yeah. I mean, that, that <coughs> they've ridden it prior to they've that. It that was, it. yeah, that was yeah last minute, but it was, yeah. Okay. But uh, yeah, I think it is. I think you're right. I think it is a gamble. I don't know. I think it's quite crazy. Yeah, so it's, it's not like, for example, the Specialized where Finn was on it all last year. Yeah. So as much as it's still a prototype, that's like approved. Yeah, prototype. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. But you, yeah, you. I, th- I, sh- I guess you have to assume that there's been yeah. some behind the scenes riding of that. Yeah, there must be. No, it can't be just be like new bike and see how it goes. Does it? One. No. Does it, is anyone out there? This is what I, I always find interesting. If they do stuff like four ace only, is there any, are there people out there about to pull the trigger on their the dream bike? <laughs> and and they just because to me, I might see that and think. Like part of me just thinks, oh, that's the coolest. This is this is a cool brand. They're doing cool stuff. But part of me thinks, oh, they're about to bring out a better one. <laughs> yeah. yeah well, I wonder if that's again could be marketing. But when they say this bike's not coming anytime soon, it could be. Mm-hmm. Maybe it is. Yeah. It could be for that reason. Yeah, that's true. Like, like, yeah. Yeah. Because like they've got stock they want to clear before a lot they of drop the, the new bike. The reason, <laughs> yeah, exactly. But also a lot of the reason for having the race team and stuff is to sell bikes. So when there's not a bike to be sold behind it. Yeah. It's kind of strange, isn't it? Because like you say, you know, you want to watch whoever it is that's riding and be like, oh, I can buy that bike. I can go race my local MPS, uh, British Downhill MPS, yeah, British yeah, Downhill. Yeah. But you can't. It just doesn't, it's not a thing. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Again, I think for me, like we'll probably relate quite a lot of this back to Supercross, but the reason that certain bike brands do really well is because they're winning AMA Nationals or yeah. MXGP or whatever. And people yeah, well, are like, actually, yeah, I'm going to go and buy that bike. sale of Suzuki's have shot through the roof exactly. with rocks and back on them, haven't they? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, interesting to th- interesting to think think about. What other pit bits you got, Dave? Um, other pit bits. We well, got you got the specialized protos, mm. and they must have moved that on. So Loic didn't Loic didn't ride it last year. Whether he didn't want to ride it last year, I don't know. Did you enjoy this clip? If so, please like and subscribe. The full episode is available by hitting one of the links on the screen right now, or type the Ride Companion into your favorite podcast app. We've even put links in the show description for you. Cheers.